I'm going to demonstrate how to use an interactive simulation that models behavior of an ideal gas as we heat it or cool it. So the simulation snapshot is here. And what we're comparing are two conditions, a constant pressure system and a constant volume system. So these red markers indicate that the piston can't move up as we heat it. So this is under the heating conditions. We also compare it under cooling conditions. And the amount of heat we add is indicated here. The main part here is that we're comparing how much work is done, what's delta U, and what's delta H for the same amount of heat added to these two processes. So let's, let's look at the simulation. So over the simulation, we're gonna heat the gas. If I select play, and then I can pause at any time, and we can compare, of course, the, there's work being done as the piston's moving. There's no work done here, constant volume. You notice delta U and delta H are different, and they differ for the constant volume and constant pressure because we're doing work in this system. And of course, the pressure stays constant for this system, but the pressure increases as we heat. So I'll continue until we get to a total of 8.2. Temperature's significantly different. This temperature is lower than this temperature because part of the heat went into work and the rest went into increasing the internal energy and the enthalpy. And those numbers are lower than for the constant volume. We also can look at cooling. The same idea. Now we look at how much heat's being removed as we play and again see that as we cool it the pressure gets lower. For the constant volume system, the temperature is different. Temperature's higher than constant pressure because we did some work as the piston moving down. Well, the details, the equations used are shown here. And the idea is to understand what's happening applying the first law to an ideal gas in a piston and cylinder.